Welcome back to Mel's Kitchen, my fellow at-home chefs, where it's restaurant quality cooking made at home. Today, I am doing something really awesome. You've never seen it before. I am doing crock pot collard greens and roast. Let me tell you all about it. So first I have my meat here that I've been marinating. You'll check the description box to see what it is. Now I actually have used chuck eye steak that I have cut to look kind of like rib meat. Now you can use all kinds of meat depending on what you're interested in. You can use a chuck roast, um, you can use short ribs, you can use beef short ribs, country style ribs. I took um, the steak and I've cut them almost in half. As you can see, I'm going to put these bad boys in the crock pot. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do after I've let them marinate, can you see those good? Is I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little bit of seasoning on them. So the first thing I'm going to put is some seasoning salt. And I'm going to do this on both sides. I just want to make sure that the meat is seasoned very well. I've had it marinating overnight. I'm going to put some black pepper on. Keep it in mind that all of your seasoning is going to go on your collard greens too. So you want to make sure you season them very well. Put a little bit of garlic powder. Okay. Then I'm going to flip them over. Do the exact same thing on the other side. This is going to slow cook, guys, overnight. It is going to be so good. I've been very excited about this recipe. You just do not understand. Putting a little bit more garlic. Now, now that I have that where I want it, I want to change it around so that you guys can see better. So I'm going to scoot this back. I'm going to scoot my crock pot over. Now, I have a crock pot bag. I don't know if you've used one, but if you have it, you might want to go pick them up because this takes your mess and your cleanup down to no time at all. I'm simply going to put the crock pot bag in there, and when I'm done with this, I don't even have to wash my crock pot out. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is put some of my collard greens down in there. I've got shredded collard greens that I have washed, set aside. I'm going to put some of them on the bottom just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting my broth in. I'm going to use chicken broth. I'm just going to put that in just like that. All of the ingredients will be in the description box down below. Please make sure you take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Give me some comments in the comment section as well. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is place all of my meat in just like that. Now, I'm actually going to flip them up like this. And turn them up on their sides. Again, you can use chuck roast. You can use just about any kind of meat you want. This is going to come out so tender. So good. Now that I've got all of that in, I'm going to go ahead and season for my collard greens. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got one whole white onion here. I'm going to go ahead and put that onion in. Okay. I have two jalapenos and I'm going to put in. Give those greens just a little bit of kick and spice. And then I've got some minced garlic as well. And I'm going to put in. And 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put some garlic powder. I'm going to have to get some cracked black pepper also. But I'm going to get that out of my kitchen in just a second. I'm putting some seasoning, some Tony's Great on Everything seasoning in there. Again, check the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and put in some salt. Again, you want it to taste good and collard greens, they need to be seasoned well. Now, normally I would put some other meat in. Normally I would put like some bacon or some ham, but again, I've already got my meat in there, so I'm going to leave it just like it is. It's already been seasoned. That's going to be so good. I'm going to go ahead and put that cracked black pepper in there. Okay. And then I'm going to put the rest of my collard greens on top. Keeping in mind, I'm going to have to push them down in there, but they will cook down. Okay. And then I'm going to put this bad boy on low. I'm going to let it cook all night. Right now, it is 936 at night. I'm going to put it on the crock pot, put it on low. I'm going to let it cook. And then in the morning when I wake up, I want you guys to be the first ones to see what this looks like. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so I'm stuffing this full. Okay. So we will come back and see what this looks like in the morning. Okay, guys, it's been about seven hours. It is super early in the morning. My collard greens have cooked down. I'm going to open them for the first time. Look at that. Oh, my. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to add in just a few more ingredients. I've got half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add that in there. Lipton's onion soup. going to add a little bit more water. I've got some red crushed. Now I didn't put this in originally because I didn't want it to be too spicy. This will allow it to sit but not super, not just overpower the dish. So we're going to take and add just a little bit more water to it. And then I'm going to try to stir it up without touching my meat. I don't want to bother my meat. Look at that. This smells amazing. And then I'm going to let this cook for about another hour, hour and a half. And then I'm going to take my meat and shred it. And this is going to be done. Okay, guys, this thing is ready. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. The entire house smells amazing. Look at that. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get that meat and see what that looks like. Look at that, you see how it comes up? Already shredded. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want it to look like. Just falls apart. Every piece that I find. I'm 
see here it's possible and effortlessly guys husband is here and he has the collard greens and short ribs want to show it to him babe look at that a uh, little backstory on me and greens i don't like greens i have a childhood thing with greens where i used to they sit on my plate and they used to make me gag and they was like if you don't eat those you're gonna get a whooping and i never wanted to eat those so um, Two, I met my lovely wife here, um, who was intent on me eating greens, and I never really liked them until she, she, uh, she made them, so here you go. It's really an uh, honest review. I don't really do greens like that, so. That's meaty. It's real good too. What kind of meat you said this was? It's Chuck Eye Steak. Mm -hmm. You can do it with uh, roast, chuck roast. You can do it with um, short ribs. That's what I wanted to do, but I couldn't find the short ribs mm -hmm. that I wanted. That's another knockout, man. Yes. Like, I, it's so weird for me to say. I like greens. <laughs> but I like it. I really like it. It's so good. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not eating greens. I'm not gagging. Mmm. <laughs> it's, it's a good, good job, baby. High five. I can't wait to finish this up. <laughs> 